Get ready to meet our exceptional leader. A one woman army. Hello everyone. Who is just not the head of the humanities department but also a visionary behind the incredible club known as Rotract. The way I would introduce her would be that she's a woman with a mind that sparks creativity and a passion that you know fosters talent. Meet the head of the department of humanities, Miss Noreen Alexina Datta. Thank you for such a brilliant and touching introduction about me because maybe you have seen me as a teacher, as a head of the department, so it comes in a different manner when you talk about me. I would just like to take you towards the Department of Humanities in terms of giving you an overview about it and what else is in store for the people who are looking for the Humanities Department. Before we you know, dive into those you know, very interesting, questionable things, I would like to know, and I think everyone in the department would like to know that, ma'am, how were you as a college student? Like, you know, what was your experience? Were you a front bencher or were you a back bencher? Were you like a studious person or were you the, you know, the troublemaker? I think I would first like to start about it that two decades back when I thought about taking humanities or studying humanities when the entire world was going crazy for mostly science only. Very few people used to come forward to take arts what we call it and I was one of them who was very clear that I wanted to go for arts doing majors in political science so I come from a background where I have done my education in Delhi University and Delhi University that period of time was also as vibrant as Bangalore is as of now in education because Delhi has been known to be hub of education and it helps any person who wants to go ahead in arts to thrive in that particular subject so my college life was uh, interesting and I was never a front bencher. I have done mass punks and uh, <laughs> I've been part of many things. Yes, but I have been a rank holder in my college. And then I went for my post graduation in JNU, which is again campus, which gives you free thinking and a lot of freedom to do what you want to do. And so that's where I think my background is what brings in the concept of creativity or allowing the students to think freely to do what they want to do and to grow in the subject they have taken not theoretically only but also practically and using it when they'll be going out after three years of their degree from the campus so yes uh, college life is always interesting and i think as teachers we always say that students need to realize that we were also sitting there some point of time but yes i will tell the biggest change which has happened is technology and media which i think two decades back was little different and as of now we are too dependent on technology and media but i think book reading was better because I think as students, when we go to the library and read and come back, it is more interesting than only surfing on Google and finding out about things. And sometimes Google gives wrong answer also. So we as teachers here see to it that students are using technology and also reading because arts is something where we are people who critically evaluate, analyze things. So as a person who is doing arts, they need to read also, not only through the technology way but also traditional books when it comes to becoming better in terms of writing and analyzing so i think that's what i would like to say about the background and few things which has helped me as a person coming from delhi to bring it in the campus also or bring it in the department definitely interesting it was a very interesting thing to know and ma'am if students are looking forward to join presidency ba what are the courses or you know what is the special unique thing that you know they should look forward by joining ba department first and foremost i think ba when we talk about there's little bit confusion uh, i mean in terms of ba what so ba i think is one department which gives us the you know exposure towards different subjects it is not only about, you know, when it comes to maybe other departments, it is only about one particular specific subject. But here students get to learn things from political science, psychology, journalism, literature, and even subjects from management. And then finally, they also go as, you know, students who can intern for different things. For a person who is good in writing can always be you know, looking forward to working in a company where we have options now as a content developer or website development or editing. 
So definitely BA gives you that exposure that apart from basics, which is there in the first semester. From second semester onwards, we start giving them that industry interface in terms of field trips or in terms of guest lectures where we have special invited talks or in terms of discussions which we have inside the classroom and for certain events when they are able to go and lots of clubs which we have we have clubs specific to the subjects politica is all about political science where we go for mock parliaments debates discussion quiz then we have media club where we review a particular movie which is off beat movie or something which is talking about social issues and also about how to you know edit or bring out a journal in terms of lab journal newspaper how the format of it has to be so these are things which comes from the media club then we have psychology psychonauts which talks about uh, different emotions where we have had events related to emotions the intelligent quotient or aptitude and other things which comes out so then and literature also is an important part of our department so we have a uh, prudentia which is a communication club where we have done cosplay and so many other things so apart from teaching we have department subject related clubs also where we do different things which helps the students to do it practically also and they are the ones who organize it come up with ideas and they see to it that it is done in a manner where we are able to touch the other departments also because obviously these are all interdepartment events where the students from different departments come and see that in BA these are the things they can get the benefit from. BA is not just a theoretical subject it's a very practical subject right and like it doesn't just focus on just like studying or lecture halls it also focuses on many other aspects so like would you like to like tell us about it like what are the practicals that these students go through first semester journalism students they just come with understanding foundations in journalism then in second semester we have a paper called computer applications for journalism because a journalist cannot be a journalist without knowing the technology so they need to use the media lab or the pop-up studio which we have in the department to see different applications and tools which is available now to these students to develop a particular news item so computer applications is something which teaches them or gives them that exposure towards the different tools and applications in the uh, world of journalism so that they can use it for the coming days because the third semester will be all about reporting and editing and analyzing in terms of news so they learn these tools so that when they come out with a lab journal they will be able to use these tools then similarly in psychology also we have different experiments which they they learn about equipping themselves to understand a particular person's uh, intelligence quotient or to understand a person's aptitude or the emotion level or different ways of having you know or an exposure to other departments where they get them as subjects when we do our psychology practicals also we have political science which is people think that it is only theory but yes they go out and conduct surveys in bpmp hospitals or schools to find out how much of uh, democracy is applicable there or to do a survey on right to education whether the nearby schools they are applying it or not so most of the subjects we have where we have practicals they get an opportunity to do filmmaking documentary then also in political science we have public policy now which is a uh, in thing and we need to and they are the ones who will be becoming part of the think tank or they learn how to be an analyst in a political party because now we know with elections around the corner not now always i mean political parties they want people to come and work so career wise most of us are not aware that even political science people can go as an analyst or they are the ones who can be media managers in terms of social media manager or in terms of government jobs in civil services or state level or just uh, picking up anything in terms of government policy making and psychology obviously there is a field now we have for sports psychology we have it for not only that they are supposed to be counselors there are so many things which has opened up so many ngos where they can become a part of it and they are taken for all these trips also so that they understand what exactly it is it can be clinical it can be related to health it can be related to organizational because organizational psychology also is one of the major things which we have in our uh, curriculum where they get to understand the industrial psychology or it is easier for them to become a HR professional or to understand that how induction training and recruitment all these things also take place so when it comes to 
BA, these three subjects are the main uh, subjects which we have. Apart from that, we have event management as a subject, which definitely is an employability skill related subject where they get an exposure because we know that today's era is an era all about events. It's an era about how to manage an event and how to manage media for the event. So it comes handy for the students that journalism also is there and event management also is there. So the principles and the concept of that comes into the concept of internship has been introduced for the final year students so that they get out in the market and work in the field of their choice, whether it is working with BPAC or working with the uh, NGO or whether going and working with media houses where they get to for three months or for whatever time they get that break between 5th to 6th sem they come back with their internship done where they have an industry exposure also and the most important thing which i think i would like to mention ba students are already doing research also there are students who have got best paper award their stu papers are getting published in isbn numbers in uh, ugc care and they are working on certain topics of their interest and the teachers are guiding them in terms of what is or how they can go ahead and research also presenting papers or seminars or essay or anything research also is one field where I and my team encourages them that it's important for them to write papers apart from research we are also encouraging them for extra courses like Swayam or Coursera and there are many students who have completed Swayam courses and Coursera courses because whether it is B or any other department let's understand today is a market where how much ever you have it is going to be less and classroom teaching is not only the thing which we can be focused on that was maybe two decades back or that's an era which is gone now the more you have in your resume the more you are going to be employable and for that i think here we have created an environment and we are always there to help them and see to it that they get as much as possible from our side and from the side of if they are interested they can definitely go out and do quite a lot it's not about nine to three only classroom world is more about how practically the subjects can be used and how they can imbibe there in their life and they take it seriously a lot depends on the students also but definitely it's a journey where a student comes for first semester by the time they complete 6m they would have got quite a lot of exposure in terms of most of the things not only bookish but definitely much much more than bookish knowledge and theoretical knowledge because the entire aim being an autonomous college and following the curriculum which is NEP interdisciplinary curriculum is not only to focus on one particular subject but see to it that they come out with an overall development in terms of different subjects and also industry experience whatever little can be possible and we are very supportive when it comes to giving them the exposure to go out and work after their college hours and come back if we come to know about something we encourage them to get it as internship and if they come to us also we encourage them for internships because the society today which we are going to face or the people whom they are going to compete with are the people who are going to be 10 steps ahead than them. So definitely we as a department have to also see to it that they are much more ahead in terms of getting employed or whatever they have been looking for. Definitely, ma'am. I completely agree to that. And of course, like uh, studying cannot always get you. You need skills to even get a job. So exposure, I think uh, when we studied in BA, so the best exposure and the most fun days were uh, the days of the fest. That was when we used to go for intercollegiate fest or if we used to go for uh, any other, you know, fest such as Vritanta. So ma'am, would you like to like tell us the, tell the students a, a bit about Vritanta, like the importance and how it all started. Britanta, the media fest or a fest which is again giving exposure in terms of whether a student from any college comes for English, Poetry Slam or Murder Mystery or Statesman. It's an event which is about different subjects again or it is nowhere related to subject as such but it is seen that a student who is interested in psychology comes up with an idea and hosts an event which will attract the students of psychology across Bangalore city and uh, if it's a political science person then we will have events related to it and extracting students from across uh, the department we have introduced one concept last time which was shark tank a event like shark tank so that to tell the students outside that ba is not only about you know journalism psychology and political science we also get related or connected to entrepreneurship and to the management also so there are different events and ritanta got talent is the thing which attracts many colleges 
We have colleges across Bangalore who come and participate. It's a fest which started 10 years back down the lane. 10th Vritanta is over last year. Looking forward to 11th Vritanta, which is coming in March 2024. It's the students who organize, students who get. And I, as the uh, leader, sees to it that the fest has to be sponsored. It is, we do not want it to be, you know, that we are asking for uh, money. Yes, the management and the college is there to support. But I think today also is an era where we need to learn to market anything. So this is the event which teaches the students to market their events, to market the fest and to get as many corporates to sponsor us and to see to it that the fest attracts not only people inside the college, but across Bangalore City, different colleges. And even when we talk about our guest of honor and chief guest we have had people from mumbai who have come and graced the occasion when it comes to vritanta we generally have people in the media industry who will be coming and gracing the fest and even the judges who come for the fest are of a caliber which they are already in the industry and they have industry experience and they share their experience with the students from different colleges who come for the fest so again it's an event which gives them a practical exposure of the things which we learn in the class they see to it that it is practically done and we have several competitions and several events for which the students or it's a buzz when it comes to the city of Bangalore where Ritanta creates and the students work hard towards it and people who come they learn a lot from different cities we have people who come for BA we have many students who come from north and from other places they get this exposure to learn the skills of organizing an event to seeing that how an event can come for a closure and it can be a success with the resources available for the students. So, Britanta is something which is really important for the department. You have been teaching in presidency for a long time, but you recently just shifted to, you know, the Department of Humanity. So, what is the one thing that made you shift the department and, you know, join us as the head of the department? PA is always close to my heart. My another background which I did not mention is I am also a person who has uh, done uh, my degree in management also or MBA. MBA was something which was attracting me for a few years but then I thought my love lies for the humanities or arts also so I came to the department and uh, the set of students in BA are really really well read, very different very hard working and much more knowledgeable. It is not to tell that the other department students are not that, but most of the students here, they come with the mindset that they want to learn, they want to read, they want to analyze, they want to critically evaluate things. They are free thinkers. They are liberal in the way they behave. And I just came maybe to add on further freedom, further critical evaluation, further analysis and help them in learning and growing in today's era, which is an era where we need to definitely learn with technology, but also not forget that reading still is important with uh, reading the newspaper as a hard copy, not always the digital copy or reading a book, not always online, but definitely picking up a book, which is also, you know, a hard copy of the book. So I think these are the things and definitely to help the department with whatever little experience I have from different things to bring all those things to the department for the students so that they get the exposure towards any and everything which they have been waiting for and I feel I have been able to get quite a lot of uh, exposure for the department and will be doing much more than this in the coming days. So before we end the video, so there is always one quote or you know one rule that we follow, right? So some people say that, you know, my dad used to say that that's why I follow it. So is there something like that that you follow and that you completely believe in? I think my dad and my mom send me to Delhi to study that itself is a big thing because I come from a small town in Jharkhand that's my background but studied in Delhi stayed there for 10 years and what I learned and what I was taught was live the life the way you want to but see to it that whatever you are doing you are going to be accountable for everything what you do so I believe in accountability and I believe that I live the way I want to live but definitely being accountable and responsible and giving as much as possible to the people who are surrounding me or I'm surrounded with. So definitely giving a, making an impact, definitely. Thank you guys for watching this video. We were here today with Ms. Alexina Datta, the head of the Department of Humanities. And stay tuned for such more videos.